We can now go across live to our political correspondent, Catherine Forster, who's been outside the Department for Transport, yet another freezing cold journalist that we've sent out into the, uh, into the wild today. There you go. At least you're not at a coal mine in Cumbria, Catherine. It actually count your blessings. Anyway, the railway cleaners from the RMT union are protesting. They're calling on the government to end the scandal of poverty pay. Catherine, what's the latest where you are? Is it because of yes, they were here to protest quite loudly in the last hour. The cleaners that clean the trains that take us up and down the country, uh, they're wanting better conditions, pensions, they're wanting £15 an hour. These are people that work through subcontractors, they work for third party com companies and Mick Lynch of the RMT has been speaking strongly in support of them. And then of course in the last hour as well we've had the news that border force officials are going to be striking from the 23rd through to New Year's Eve. So if you are planning to escape the uh, winter of discontent by jetting off somewhere, you might have problems. And it really does seem, doesn't it, that more and more people are going on strike. I think now for the rest of December, every single day, somebody will be striking. There's a million people set to strike this month alone, and it really is ramping up. Now, Rishi Sunak, in Prime Minister's questions, said very robustly that he felt now that the rail unions were being unreasonable. He said, in general, that the government had accepted pay review body recommendations and that, in some cases, those were more than private sector uh, awards. And the government are desperate to keep pay awards down because of inflation. Inflation, of course, is what's driving these strikes. Everybody's struggling to pay their bills, their money is going less far. But the government, first of all, say they can't afford it. Steve Barclay, the health secretary, said if they gave all these public sector workers inflation level pay rises, that would cost the government 28 billion pounds, which they simply do not have. The other thing is, of course, if they did that, what that would do is potentially make inflation even worse. The government are worried about a wage price spiral. Everybody has more money that drives prices up even further. The government are desperate to get inflation down. They think if we can get through this and inflation comes down, that will begin to ease the pressure. But in the meantime, it looks like being a very, very difficult winter, both for all of us for strikers losing their wages and indeed for the government as this seems to spiral ever more out of control.